the test statistic of z equals 0 0.69 is obtained when testing the claim that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9. We want to answer the following questions. We want to identify the hypothesis test as being two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. We want to find the p-value and then using the significance level of alpha equals 0.05, should we reject the null or should we fail to reject the null? Okay, so let's first take a look at the claim. Okay, so what did the claim tell us? Well, we're going to go ahead and write the claim in here. So we're going to state the claim and the opposite of the claim. Okay, so the claim is given to be the following. We know that the claim is that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9. Okay, so now we want to identify the null in the alternative hypothesis. So since we know the claim is given to be that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9, well, then the opposite of that claim is then that the population proportion is going to be less than or equal to 0 0.9. Now, remember that when we talk about the null in the alternative hypothesis, the null always contains the equal sign. So, therefore, we would say that the population proportion is equal to 0 0.9 and the alternative is that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9. Okay, now we need to look at this alternative hypothesis to tell us whether it is a two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. So let's take a look at that here. So to determine the type of test, we have to look at the symbol used in the alternative hypothesis. Now, if the symbol is greater than and it points to the right, and therefore the test is going to be a right tail test. If the symbol is less than and it points to the left, and therefore the test is left tailed. If the symbol in the alternative hypothesis is not equaled, then we would use a two tail test. So let's go back to this. So what is this saying over here? Well, we can see that the alternative, okay, has a greater than and it's pointing to the right. So therefore, we would say that this is a right-tailed test. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So this is a right-tailed test. Let's check our answer, and there is our result. Okay, now we need to determine what is the p-value of this particular problem. Okay, so let's come over here. So in step number four, we need to identify the significance level. So in part C, let's first identify the significance level. And we can see that the significance level is 0 0.05. Okay, so that's a significance level. Okay, and then what is the test statistic for testing a claim about a proportion? Well, it's given up here. The test statistic we didn't have to solve for, they tell us that Z is equal to 0 0.69. Okay, so now in order to find the p-value, we need to draw the bell curve and then label and find the p-value. So just like we've done in our problems, we're going to go ahead and then draw our bell curve. Okay. We know that the mean is zero, and we're given a test statistic, which is 0 0.69. So therefore, we would say that it's to the right of zero. So that means that our Z test statistic here is 0 0.69, okay? And what we want to find is we want to find the probability which is the area of that right tail. So we want to be able to find this p-value. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so in order to find that p-value, 
we want to find the probability of when that z test statistic is going to be greater than the value of 0 0.69 and then whatever we get we are going to get the p value here and then we're going to round that to three decimal places so let's go ahead and then open up stack crunch so we're going to open up stack crunch Okay, now that we have Stat Crunch open up, we're going to go ahead and go to Stat Calculators, and where you're going to use the normal distribution because we have a Z test statistic. So we're going to select Normal. We're going to make sure that our mean is zero, standard deviation is one, and then we're going to go to greater than or equal to, and then we're going to put in 0 0.69, and then we're going to go ahead and then copy this area, which is our P value. Okay, so now that we have our p-value, we're going to round that to three decimal places. And rounding that to three decimal places, we end up getting 0 0.245. So there's our p-value, and therefore we get 0 0.245. So let's go ahead and put that in our answer here. So the p-value is 0 0.245. There's our answer. There's our result. Now we need to choose the correct conclusion below. So we want to use the significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. Should we reject the null or should we fail to reject the null hypothesis? Okay, so in the next step here, what we want to do is to make a decision. Okay, we reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level. We fail to reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is greater than the significant level. So let's go ahead and compare. So we know that the significance, we know that the p-value that we found is 0 0.245. And we know that alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So let's take our p-value, which is 0 0.245. And we can see that comparing it to 0 0.05 means that this is going to be greater than. So if it's greater than, we have to say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, and so now we need to choose the correct conclusion below. Well, we already know we need to fail to reject the null, but let's go over the conclusions. Okay, so when you have the conclusions, you have four different scenarios. Okay, if the original claim does not include equality, meaning that the claim doesn't have the equal sign, which it doesn't. So because it doesn't, okay, it says that if the original claim does not include equality and you reject the null, we would say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim with the original claim statement. If the original claim does not include equality, meaning the equal sign, so it does not include the equal sign in the claim, and you fail to reject the null, we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. And you can see here that the claim did not include the equality sign. Okay, so therefore we would say fail to reject the null and there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9. So we would say fail to reject the null and there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the population proportion is greater than 0 0.9. Check our answer, and there is our result.